haven't seen a living soul on this road for at least an hour. Some might blame the fog. <laughs> Me? I'd say Green Lake truly is in the middle of nowhere. Hank's voicemail. He sounded urgent, yet unhinged. Early onset dementia. <sighs> Probably couldn't handle retirement on his own. Should have thought about that when you left me and mom, dad. Research facility where Hank used to work. Should be a left turn coming up soon. Nearly there. We'll see what the fuss is about. What the? Where did this guy come from? Does he think he's too? Ah! Hey! What? The, what the fuck? Are, are you? Are you trying to kill me? Shit! Shit, oh shit, shit, shit. Ah! Ah! Whoa, whoa, ah! Move your ass, John. <laughs> God, my lungs are burning. <sighs> Nothing seems broken. God, where am I? Green Lake, you're my father's house. <laughs> Maybe I can get there. If I'm not seen. Who are those guys? Why would they do such a thing? Why? John, walk now. Analyze later. Those 
men wearing masks? Some kind of military outfit? No military that I know. God, this is exactly why I didn't become a cop. I can't handle the stress. Research Institute. Look at all those lights. Wait, those men in suits talked about Morris's son. Hank worked at the Institute. Is it connected? Is Hank okay? God, I can't think straight. Keep on walking, John. The house can't be far. house. Something's off. The lights are out. Something happened here. This is gonna be bad. Uh, okay, okay. Start thinking, John. Keep your cool. Build a case. Make a theory. Write it down. You can do this. The voicemail. Maybe it contains a message. Okay, Hank. Where are you? I'll write down all the clues and facts I find in my journal to help me keep a clear head and solve problems. Let's see if I can construct a timeline of events. Here I'll sort information in chronological order. I should be on the lookout for things that stand out. Files, pictures, audio tapes, that sort of stuff. For now, all I got going is the voicemail. Let's have a listen. Oh, shit. Voicemail. Ah, uh, this is Hank. Well, Jonathan, I hope this message gets to you. You can't really rely on secure telephone connections anymore these days, you know. What with the satellites and all looking down, you'd think those guys know what they're doing. Anyway. I really think you should come over here. We could do some real stargazing with that old telescope of mine. I have just the spot where we could go. It's really in the dark, but it's amazing what one can see there. I've spent almost all of my time there these past weeks. Before we go there, we'll have to do a number on things first. But don't worry about it. We'll listen to some music to get into the groove. I've got a whole schedule laid out for you. I know you were afraid of the night as a little kid, so maybe bring a flashlight or something with you? I'm sorry to leave you in the dark like this, but I have to go now. I have guests coming over soon. I have to prep the house. I'm sure you'll brighten up the place as soon as you get here. Home is where the hearth is, is it not? Say hi to Barbara for me, will you? I'll always regret giving her the cold shoulder. Drive safely. Oh, shit. Voicemail. 